Hey friends, so I have shared this a few times across Moptra Studio platforms, but never here in video format. With more people discovering it lately, I thought I'd take a moment to just explain what it actually is. Most of us don't have a security team. It's usually just us, our laptop, and a backlog of security issues lined up for us to solve. Security can feel overwhelming sometimes from the complexity to the extensities. Because where do you even start and what's the next thing waiting for you out there? That's why I put together something I call the Flutter or the Secure Flutter Handbook. It's more like a pocket-sized security team you can carry with you, ready to check or cancel out what's existing or missing from your app. For years, I read blogs, watched videos, bookmarked resources, and then would forget them very easily. What I needed was something different. Something I could actually use while building. And that's what the handbook is. It's not just reading material, it's a walkthrough. You open it next to your app just as you open your notebooks. And it helps you analyze what you have built. It's almost like a mentor sitting beside you asking, have you checked this? Did you consider that? Did you consider this? And my favorite part is that it's a handbook on purpose. I built it as a handbook on purpose. You're meant to write in it, <laughs> scribble notes, doodle ideas, mark what you've fixed and what you still need to figure out. I even version mine. On the cover, I'll write something like Project X version 1. When I come back later, I can see exactly what progress I made what's unfinished, and what to focus on next. Sometimes I'll switch pen colors or grab a highlighter just to make the next cycle feel fresh. And the next cycle will be, in my case, version 1.0.1. Over time, it becomes a timeline of my own security journey, something I can lean on before running to either Google, ChatGPT, or a WASP. And my other favorite part is that it's not a one-time tool. Yes, you purchase it once, but you can reuse it for as many projects as you want. Maybe one copy for project X, another for project Y. Slowly you build an archive of how you've approached security across, across different apps. It's more like journaling. You get that same old nostalgia looking back, but with the added satisfaction of seeing how much your skills have grown and more secure your app projects are getting. I also use it for brainstorming. Sometimes I'll jot an idea down, realize it's not secure enough, cross it out and write a better one. Sometimes I'll leave notes to discuss with a client on the plenty of white space left around the handbook. Keeping all of that in one place is a game changer. And if you build apps for clients, hey developers, this is a very serious value add. You're not just delivering features, you're showing that you have considered authentication, data protection, secure storage, network security. That's more than code delivery, that's trust delivery. Let's go back to the reality again. So most of us don't have a full-on security team. We are the developer, the tester, and the security reviewer all rolled into one. So this handbook is designed for exactly that. It gives us structure to lean on and it creates that transparency for us as developers, showing us what we already know and where we might need to scale up. So if you've ever felt like you don't know where to start with mobile app security or you just want a place to think and track your progress, this is for you. I call it the Secure Flutter Handbook because some parts are Flutter specific, but most of the code snippets honestly are written in pseudocode, so any mobile app developer can follow along. And most of the content is also universal, so it goes far beyond just Flutter. I'll leave the link below if you want to check it out. Lastly, I do share discounted offers through Moptress Studios newsletter. I did one back in August and I'll definitely be doing more. So if you want to catch those, that's the best place to follow along. With that said, don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment and I'll see you in the next one.